SEO for Bubble is no different than it is for other websites, but you'll want to pay attention to this video where we'll cover the basics of everything you need to know to get set up correctly for SEO in Bubble. Before we get into all of the basics of SEO, why should you listen to this video? Well, in the past, I have worked with Fortune 500 companies on their SEO programs as well as and more importantly, had my own affiliate website where I grew a website from zero to tens of thousands of visitors per month back in the day. So let's start out with some basics for anyone that does not know what SEO really is all about. SEO is about the search engines crawling everyone's web pages and indexing them and then ranking them for relevant keyword queries or searches in Google. Um, shout out to Neil Patel for this image. Uh, so what that means essentially though with your bubble site is that if you use um, a button instead of a link, the crawlers are not going to be able to crawl uh, link by link as they work their way through the HTML code of the site. And so for example, um, this is essentially what the crawlers are seeing. Um, so you're going to want to use that link. You're going to want to use this link uh, visual element over the buttons and then just style it to match uh, where possible. Of course, there are scenarios where that doesn't necessarily work to use a button over a link. Um, there might just be some special things that you have going on with your setup that doesn't allow to use a link. So um, we'll get to that. So the next thing we'll do is we'll head over to the SEO settings area that you can find under settings, SEO and meta tags for your site. And we're just gonna note the basic out of the box settings that you can work with here in Bubble. And then we'll discuss here on the video uh, what exactly each of these do so you can gain an understanding and uh, determine if they apply in your use case. So this first one, expose the type of tags for text elements. It is a good one to use because, so let's see, we can see this here. And if we uncheck this, then that will be taken away if we click off and then click back on it. Now, what exactly is the um, shout out to Victorious SEO agency here for this nice image, but what exactly are these uh, extra tags, you might wonder? Well, they're just document structure. They tell the search engines how the content is prioritized in terms of how hierarchically it is organized. And so you can see that the H1 tag is the um, most important, and you can also see that they're probably um, using this tag for almost the exact keyword search query, how to optimize your headers for search, and then some additional things that are related to H1 tags and so on and so forth. So that is this first option here. And I would recommend using just one H1 tag on all your pages and then um, where it makes sense, you can use the others. The other thing that you will wanna do on each of these pages is on the page itself, come under here for this description. You can just check in Google how long a meta description should be. And then for this title, I would say match both of these, this and this. And that title, what, is, what exactly is it? Well, that title and meta description, that is this blue part. And then this text down here in the search engines um, is, is the text that's coming from here. And then here and here, I've played with both of these. I would, my recommendation is just to make them both the same. Okay, next up. Uh, point URLs to primary domain for better SEO. So for this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at these four web URLs and noting that in our world as humans, we're like, yeah, they're all the same. But for the robots, they're saying these are four different URLs. And if someone out on the web links, for example, to this version or this version, uh, but you want everyone to be kind of using or your site automatically loads up this version, then someone's link will actually go to a different page that you don't have uh, ranking and you want someone's uh, link to pass through to kind of be collected all in one page for anyone out there who has done um, any work with SEO. You, you, you know this. So what exactly is this then? This is, uh, we're gonna do a search here. So I have a page set up. We can look at both of these pages. They're, they're identical except for the fact that on one of them, I had selected that that is, uh, that, that checkbox is selected for the canonical. And we can see that it's basically saying, 
when we're when it's encountering a case like this where they could all potentially be the same ww or not http or https or not um it's going to note that this is the real url to use so then google follows that instruction so that is the oh, lost our place here that is this second one customize robots.txt what i would suggest to do here is just take your sitemap and then put in uh, so let's go, we're going to go out and we're going to look at how Bubble uh, has their setup. So we can just take this here, site map, and then just replace your domain here with your site map. So sitemap XML, what exactly is that? So let's go ahead and expose a sitemap file. So here are all the pages on your site that correspond to all of these things here. And if you are a person who has a large database where you have a number of things, let's just say user profiles and they use one page and it's a bunch of user profiles on that, or let's be honest, let's say it's more like you have electric skateboard listings for rent or something like that in a platform that's like Airbnb. And you would like to, um, have one page for that, but then you obviously have something for all of the skateboard listings on the site. So we'll get to that in a second, but let's first try out this here where we're gonna turn these on and then over on the, well, <laughs> I, I cheated because I have it all set up. So let me grab a couple extra of these. Uh, we're not cheated, but rather did some testing prior to this. So let me go ahead and refresh this and then Note that, so let's see, the, the URL that I'm dealing with here is this and for this particular one. But if we were to look at this uh, over in Chrome, I'll just note that you might see something slightly different in yours. And what are these doing? Well, these are telling the search engines that we told to go into the robots.txt uh, that, so if, so if I load up each one of these, can't see the URL here, but so it's just saying, hey, go go look at this page, dear Google crawling robot. So that is that is this part. And then other stuff in here. Uh, let's see. So this is typically you would use this for, you know, maybe a Google tag manager tag or some other type of, you know, analytics or tracking. And then you have exposed for the body on the site as well. And this puts it on all of the pages for that. 301 redirects. If you are migrating a site, a website from uh, a different platform to Bubble, you'll want to pay attention, especially to this part. Excuse me. And uh, as someone that's done about a dozen website migrations, again, uh, working at an agency doing SEO, technical SEO uh, for Fortune 500 clients, what, what this essentially boils down to is you just pick all of the URLs. You do, you do a backlinks. Um, discovery search using AREF, AREFs or, S, or SEMrush or Majestic or one of those tools. Collect all of the pages that you have that have links pointing to them on the old site and then just make sure that that URL path uh, points to the corresponding place where that same content exists on the new site. And then if that content doesn't exist on the new site, you'll just want to maybe perhaps redirect it to the home page. So that takes care of this section and then hosting files in the root directory. What you'll most likely want to use this for is if you have the particular use case in your world where you have a bunch of things in your database and you're using slugs to define the URL, meaning you know that you actually have more pages on your app than what is just viewed here. Like for example, you have a page that, uh, look at Airbnb's uh, site for example, they just have uh, once you've searched and if you click on any of those listings there, it pops open a page that is just the listing. That's one template. That's one page in their content management system. However, it's pulling, you know, hundreds of thousands of database records to generate a URL via slug. Um, if you, uh, if any of that does not make sense, then it's uh, most likely that you're not using it. So you don't need to worry about it. Just expose your sitemap file here and then add it in uh, on your custom uh, robots txt here um, but if you are using slugs and you do know about that um, a if you would like to uh, check out the how to set those up uh, there will be a video posted on the channel here in just a few days for that and uh, but basically what you would want to do is you just want to drop in a 
sitemap XML file here and upload it. And to actually generate that sitemap XML file, just simply go here, uh, select a few pages to kind of get the, uh, the template started. Go to your uh, domain, sitemap.xml, you know, once you've pushed it live, and then you can just continually add uh, the rest of the pages in your database that are dynamically generated from the slugs that you have. So uh, if you have done all of these steps, you have checked all the boxes basically here, literally and figuratively, uh, just in terms of the basics of setting up uh, SEO so that your bubble site is uh, searchable and discoverable amongst the search engines and is informative in terms of saying hierarchically, uh, you know, but dear Google bot or whoever, uh, this is about, this page is about this uh, topic. And then obviously there is more to dive into. The world of SEO is large. Uh, I highly recommend Backlinko. Uh, Brian Dean over there has some pretty great free resources that you can check out. Um, because there's much more beyond just the on-site stuff. You'll want to do some things off the site, signals that let Google know that your site is important. Um, but that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a like. If you would like to get more tips like this, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.